welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that was actually inspired by one of you guys. On my last video, one of you guys mentioned that I looked like Ashley Benson. Thank you. Huge compliment. I love her. Um, you guys told me I looked like her and I was like, you know what? I don't, but like I have the blonde hair now. May as well like play it up. And since I've had the blonde hair, I've been more like hesitant on darker makeup. Hannah on Pretty Little Liars wears dark makeup all the time and she has light hair all the time. So I may as well try out her makeup look and see how it goes. So I tried to do my hair like Hannah because I feel like she always wears her hair in like a little look that looks like this or something. Um, but I think I just look like super political. <laughs> so I just cleaned my beauty blender for the first time probably since I got it. And I got the black one because so I was like, no one can like tell when it's dirty. You can tell when it's dirty and I'm so gross. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. You don't really need a lot, and yeah, there isn't like a drop or anything, and I'm gross, so I kind of just put it on my skin. And then right when you put it on, you have to buff it in because it kind of dries, and you see how it kind of dried there, and you can still see where I put it down? You have to buff it in pretty immediately, but the coverage on this is really, really nice. Um, the only thing that really bothers me with this foundation is that it does look cakey if you use too much. But I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Brightener. Um, and I'm going to put this under my eyes. Shocker. And I'm not really going too crazy with this. I'm kind of just brightening the under eyes, keeping it pretty small in that triangle like that. Um, this is really like taking me back to like eighth grade, literally when I was like scared to wear makeup and like this is what I would do. And then I'm also just gonna extend it a little bit on the very tops of my cheekbones right here. And then very quickly, I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. So the eyes, if you guys have watched the show, you know that it's all about the eyeliner for Hannah. To do this entire eye today, I'm gonna to be using the Sweet Peach Palette. I know a lot of you guys got this for Christmas and it's brand new, so like I are probably really excited to use it. I did a look with this uh, a while ago. It was like a natural everyday look and then I think I did like a glam look too. It's gonna to be messy at first. I need you to bear with me and I need you to trust me. So we're first gonna go in here with this shade called Puree. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Right here. Here, right? And with this, we're just going to go all over the lid. Once you have that build up on the lid, you're going to blend this up to the crease. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tori, what are you doing? This looks horrible. This is where you have to trust me. So once you have this thrown on there, literally it should look like you've never blended eyeshadow in your life. That's good. We're gonna go in with a MAC 224. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. Blend this out until it gets nice and soft. I tend to do this technique like every day and it just, after like a few, like give it like 30 to 45 seconds of blending, it really looks flawless and like really gorge. Give it a chance. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Peaches and Cream. Just go along the edges and kind of clean it up a little bit. It's okay if it's not perfect, we just want it to be a little clean. And then back in with your blending brush to blend out that edge that you just created. And I'm not kidding you, that's the eyeshadow. Let's move on to the eyeliner. So I'm first gonna take a small angle brush. This is from Kylie, this came with her Kyliner. I'm first gonna take the shade called Tempting. This is like a shimmery black. We are just going to build this up. So I'm first gonna start on the outer corner. And you'll notice that instead of turning my brush to the angle being towards this way on my eye, I'm having it be this way. And that's so that I can pull up on the eye as opposed to have my brush kind of down. Do you know what I mean? And then this way we're gonna be pulling her eye up we're not winging it, she doesn't have a wing. She just 
her eyes don't droop down. And using that much eyeliner, you wanna make sure that your eyes don't droop down. So I'm really focusing on lifting up this outer corner right here and making it thicker. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way in Once that color's on, go back and move to 217. It has that extra over, leftover extra, whatever I'm trying to say, color on it, and just buff this up. I'm gonna judge it up there. Okay, once that's on, I'm gonna go in with a gel eyeliner. This is the Kylie Liner by Kylie. And with this, I'm really just going to do the same thing, pretty much just buff this right in my lash line. But I'm sticking this one closer to my lash line and then I'm letting the shadow buff it out and smoke it up. You can see here that I have the liner right here but then the shadow right above it. So it really does kind of smoke the liner up without even having to do anything to do that. I'm really just messily placing this in between my eyelashes. My camera like stopped recording for whatever reason but I just continued on putting eyeliner on this eye too. I uh, just keep it nice and smoky. It's really easy, it's like so easy. I'm gonna go back in with the Kylie liner and that same brush. And now we're moving on to the lower lash line and the waterline. So what we're gonna do is really just make sure that the waterline is nice and black. And that's why I'm opting for a gel liner as opposed to a pencil liner. Gel liner, keep my waterline as black as possible. Bring it all the way in on this inner corner right here. She really has her eye like defined. And then I'm gonna smudge it down a little bit on the lower lash line. Go in with any clean smudging blending brush that you have. This is just a double-sided tart brush and I'm taking this side of it. And with this, you just wanna buff this eyeliner until it doesn't buff anymore. And then with the blending brush that has a little bit of that candied yum color left over on it, just buff that right below the black eyeliner. Let's move on to the eyelashes. So the eyelashes today that I'm using are no other than Ardell Wispies. These are just a used pair. I swear to God, I have like 50 of these just laying around my house. <laughs> they always just show up wherever I am. I'm like, oh yeah, here are my eyelashes. Before I put those on though, I'm gonna throw on just a quick layer of L'Oreal Telescopic. ever have like highlight on the inner corner or anything it's pretty dark all around her eyes which makes her eyes her blue eyes like really stand out and like smolder a lot so the eyes are done um for the face let's do some bronzer so this is nars laguna bronzer mac whatever this number brush is in every video i'm like i don't know what number this brush is i still don't know we're just gonna hit this she doesn't really like contour that much she's just She's like tan, but she's not like too terribly tan. She has color to her, which I don't. So I'm really just adding some color to me. Kind of like no touring a little bit. I feel like that was just the thing. Back then was just to no tour. Look at me, I'm saying back then. What was the show? I was in seventh grade. You wanna know how I know I was in seventh grade when Pearl Liars came on? I got a Facebook in seventh grade. And I waited to make my first Facebook status. And my first Facebook status was Pretty Little Liars with a heart next to it, like the Emoticon 3, or whatever it was, like the Less Than Sign 3. Because it was like the season premiere and I was watching it and I wanted people to know that I was like, cool. And also, it's my face, first Facebook post, so I had to like make it something I would remember, and I did remember it. This foundation right now is really creasing on me horribly, and this has never happened before. Highlight, um, I'm keeping it nice and simple and glowy. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. I'm sure you guys expected this. Whenever I say light and glowy, this is like the palette that I go to. And just sweep that right across, just to keep it glowy. Really not a lot, it's just a little, little something something. For blush, she always kind of looks like she was out in the wind and like she's kind of windswept. I don't know if that's, what it looks like or what it's meant to look like but to me it always looks like that so this is max well dressed and i'm really gonna like pack it on she goes heavy on the blush 
For lips, she always has like one of two lips. It's either like a strawberry pink or like a lip gloss nude. And I'm gonna go with the lip gloss nude today because that's like my favorite look. This is Moon Glow by Marc Jacobs. all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see because clearly I read all the comments and I really take them all into consideration so please let me know I love you guys all so much bye